So we are in the new E-Class Hybrid, driving along under pure electrical mode. And fortunately we have a world-class expert in <laughs> electrical mode systems who's going to tell us all about it. There you go, there's the expert. So what's happening now? Well, that's a fine introduction. <laughs> okay, so we're in full electrical mode at the moment and you can see on the screen right here, we're just in the electrical component. So as the TACO moves off zero, it will break into petrol engine power as required. But as you can see, the acceleration just in electrical is quite satisfactory. So how far can the car drive in pure electric mode? Okay, so just on pure electric mode with nothing else, in, it's, it's a, a sort of a 30 to 35k range. So it's designed to get you out of emission restricted areas, that sort of thing. But the reality is when you're driving in these modes, it's recharging as well, so you get better range than that. Uh, it also recharges itself very quickly through a number of different access methods so it can recharge from the engine or from the electrical engine it also recharges from its power point on, the, on its backside. Can you show us um, some of the modes it's got? Sure, so as I, as you see it's a standard S-Class interior so the only thing that sets us aside here is this extra switch here. So in E mode I'm now in fully electric mode and that's a percentage. So this will run on electric power until the battery gives out? That's right. Okay. Yeah. And I can also run on e save mode, which means I'm now a petrol engine car and we're saving our battery for when required. So, for okay. example, in we're in a congestion zone or whatever. Yep. So, if you know you're coming up to an area you want a lot of electrical, then you can save the battery for that. Exactly. Right. So, you could say, don't go below 50% battery, something like that. Yeah. Okay, yes. cool. And the, the graph is always showing you what yep. you have available. What else have we got? And, all right. And then our fourth mode is charge. Yep. And that means that we're in petrol engine and we're actually actively recharging the electrical battery. Batteries, okay, so, so we're, we're prioritising battery charging then. So if you know you're coming up to an area where you want electrical, so I'm going to charge it, make sure I've got lots of power so I can sneak in light after a night out and not disturb anyone. Correct. And also, if we were just even sitting stationary, we can leave it in charge mode while it's just stationary and it will recharge. So we can leave the engine running and then you know, half an hour later it'll recharge it. So it has a number of access for the battery charge. And this can be recharged off a standard 240 volt socket? That's correct, How yes. long does it take to recharge off um, if it is down to, let's say, 0%? Yeah. So on zero on a normal domestic 240 volt plug, it's about three hours. On the uh, Category 1 style plug, the heavy duty uh, system that you see at service stations and at hotels and things like that, it's, it's much quicker. It's only about 45 minutes. And uh, it can also charge as I said off the um, off the engine itself. Hmm. Any other fascinating facts you've got for us to explain how this works? Well this is a, a, a 500e and so it's a V6 um, three and a half litre engine but in terms of its drivability it feels exactly like it's 500 cousin in a full petrol engine which is a V8 so in terms of its performance and its drivability it feels exactly the same mm. and I think that's uh, it's really interesting that it has massive amount of performance when required but it also can drive around in this super economy mode with really low fuel consumption. Fantastic so let's look at the best feature of this car where's the uh, mood light there we go right so in the glove box here we have got this little can of incense it's called fireside move mood lighter that goes in there and um, these press down and presumably it releases probably an aphrodisiac into the car something <laughs> exactly. like that looks pretty so, good so, yeah, um, so i'm kind of tempted to lob it into the back seat and see what happens if the two journalists sitting beside me there but um i don't want to make a mess on mercedes nice seats in the back there but that's a pretty nice feature let's put that back there so it can get on and give us a bit of mood as we enjoy this hybrid drive. <laughs>